Remember why we're doing these little preliminaries? I'm going to make a little floor plan and a little sketch. Remember why though? We're doing it so that eventually you don't have to do it anymore. That you'll intuitively know how to just branch out and sketch what you have in your mind's eye with just fully intuitively knowing what direction your line should take and how it should look on the page before you even begin. But to get there, it, there's work to be done, and these little sketches are going to speed up your ability to do that. So um, now I do want a bay window, but I'm going to have a little sofa table in the bay window. But this is not what I want my so my bay window to look like. I want it to have a lovely angle. So I need to choose from this traditional square shape. A little bit of distance here so that I can make a an attractive angle here for my windows on this side and there'll be a window at the back and then the wall changes direction and goes this way and here's my little sofa table and on the sofa table I'm going to have a lamp a large lamp that will appear behind the sofa now these elbows, I've got to put the thickness of the wall here. Now these elbows will have to be solid. They're solid wall. So, but the window goes in at an angle like this. So I'm going to put the window straight here. Then there's the elbow. Then there's straight window here. And then another elbow. And straight window I'm going to try to get them in the same place now this if you were doing this in an in a, a studio working with uh, colleagues and you're just doing this quickly you would do this very fast but because I'm trying not to make mistakes here I'm uh, trying to I'm taking me way more time than this would ever take you when you were just s sorting out what it is you wish to do so I'm using my Pentel sign pen now to block in some of these thicker parts. Okay, so that's good enough for that. And then inside to indicate window, you can put a couple of lines, a couple of thin lines. Oh, I have more right here in the center. I have another so you can put two lines or one line just to get that sorted. Okay, and now my sofa. I want it to be a three-seater, but you've got to be careful not to make it too wide. And it's going to, there are draperies here. They're, um, they're false draperies. They don't actually cover this window. They're just there for more or less for their beauty, their color, their decorative effect. But they're not functioning in, in that they would be thick and bulky over here. You can keep them just more open and less okay by just using them as decoration, more or dressing, more dressing, window dressing. So, okay, now I have a, uh, in mind a camelback sofa with one big plump cushion for the seating. It's a tea cushion and it is a three seater though. It would, it would accommodate three people. It's just that the one large cushion gives an a different effect. It kind of makes it look a little less humongous. It makes it a little softer looking. Okay, so I have now a plan and I'm going to make that little preliminary sketch before we do our actual quick sketch. And eventually you don't ever need to do this, but it's you've got to start somewhere and this is the best place to get it's the practice you need before you can just freehand right away. Okay, so there's our vanishing point. You'll notice with this that I started with a square here. So I'm going to do the same thing 
when I start my perspective, and then I'll need to make that angle. So I have to choose a width from my wall. Don't forget to keep wiping off your pen so it doesn't get too blobby. And remember why we're using pen. We're using pen so that you can relate your last line to the next line you make to fix it. So you're not always starting over. It's there, it's a memory, it's going to guide you and help you make the next better line. So I'm, if we have maybe an eight foot ceiling or nine foot ceiling, we want to make a standing point of view, a standing eye level, so we put less space at the top and more space down below. And hopefully you're sketching along and you're just um, estimating what that should look like. Now, when you bring the wall forward, because this is a standard thing to do, we need to know what that would look like coming forward. Even though our wall is going that way, this is a, an important thing to do, I think, and keep it just light and it's good for aim. We are always practicing your aim and um, your handedness of being able to turn your paper. I can't turn my paper around, but if you can, you should do it to help. As you remember we had a, that square here. We can make that square again by doing this. So this now is the depth I've chosen for here. It doesn't seem deep enough, I know, but remember for shortening, the further back you go, the smaller this will appear to be. So it's probably just about right. And then we're going across and we'll meet up with this one. So it was important to put the whole box in just so we can compare this measure as well as anything else we're measuring. Okay, now I can choose a point. Remember we chose that point to go f over. We don't have, we never put this thickness of wall in, so don't worry about that. We're, our drawing, our perspective just encompasses what's inside, not the outside thickness. Okay, so I'm going to choose now uh, a place for my the angle of my bay window. I don't want to go, so whatever I did here, I want to do the same over here, and I don't want to go too dark because this will be covered by the sofa and I don't want to Get, make it too confusing. So when you go straight up and then you go from this corner to this corner and this corner to this corner and the angle is not as acute as it was on the bottom because we're so much closer to the eye level. But there we have it. This is the the ceiling of the bay. This is the floor of the bay and this is one wall of the bay window. And this now is an invisible line. We don't see that. And then our wall is going to go like that once we get out here. So from there to there and oop, 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 and across. Okay, now that little table, we're gonna keep this really light because we don't, it's gonna be covered by the sofa. It's probably only going to be about 30 inches tall and the sofa back could run as much as three feet tall. And the camel back, they're generally low backed, but it might, the highest part of it might be three feet. So now we're just making our standard one point perspective box and we're looking at the height here about, if that's two and a half, might be about there. So bring that across and we're just estimating all our heights which is important even if you if it doesn't turn out the way you want it to but this will show you what doesn't work which is as important to know as what does work so because you'll do it differently next time and Here's this wall going this way, this wall going this way. And now I'm going to bring up my sofa. Now up here, I've had it almost lined up with this part and I'm going to try that 
but I am also thinking is it going to be too wide I think it's going to be too wide so I'm going to go a little more narrow and if I when I transfer all of this to marker paper to render it my floor plan and my my sketch I would just alter my floor plan to match what I've chosen for my see this is going to go a little bit what I've chosen for my perspective I just change that now this isn't quite the same so I'm going to bring this over so so this is our pre preparatory sketch before we do our actual sketch I know it seems a little of a strange thing to do but it's the as I mentioned it's the really the best way to no longer need to do it is to do more of it so now I might have come a little too far forward so I'm gonna cut a little of that off so you're always you're just thinking about this in terms of And I think that's still maybe too wide. So I might now try doing it a little narrower. You have to think about it and see. Because it doesn't look like I have enough depth here. So there's several factors that go into it. make that a little bit narrower and here's this bring that forward that feels better that box now the in in controlling the width now I have the height for the front that I want to have because I have I have an upholstered area and I have a little skirt on the bottom of it that's quite nice a little flirty kind of skirt that's something like the camelback and then I have my arms I just want to make a box for my arms here this is getting to be a mishmash but it's giving me what I need just a simple box with the everything going the right way make sure your arms are the same and there will be thickness for the back as well I'll get into that as when I'm doing my drawing but now I'll just go back and reclaim the lines that are important in terms of the wall And this is my paper mate flare that's giving me this and then my lamp I think I'm gonna have it be a little bit above eye level and be substantial but airy it's gonna have uh, you'll be able to see through that 